back. And if you're joining us right now, we are bringing you our Meet the Mayoral Candidate segment. And we are speaking firstly with the People's United Party's candidate for mayor of Benque Viejo. And so we are joined right now via Zoom by Jorge Rosales. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Gabriel. Good morning, Miss. Yeah. All right. Um, Ms. Martin. It's great to have you with us this morning. Now, typically we like to start out our conversations on a little bit of a personal note. So why don't we start by uh, telling us a little bit about who you are um, as a person, where you grew up, what you do for work, and introduce our viewers to who is Jorge Rosales. Well, first of all, my name is Jorge Antonio Rosales, uh, born in Benque Viejo, 1973. I uh, studied at the Mount Carmel Primary School, and then I assisted to the Mupuan Technical High School. My studies are just at Mupuan Technical High School at the Fort Form. So, and then after that, I, I went and I start, started working. My profession is a, a building contractor. Okay. So, Jorge, I mean, first of all, it looks like a beautiful morning there in Benke. And I think that the roosters uh, are sleeping in a bit too late because they seem to just be waking you up. <laughs> but it is... It... Well, Go ahead. This is the way we live here in Benke. We have a lot of alarm systems everywhere <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I can hear that. And, and you know, that's, that's where I wanted to, to start in looking at... Um, you know, you grew up in Benke, you lived in Benke. I'm sure uh, you, you have perhaps been uh, very active if you have been tapped to be the mayoral candidate. What about what you have been doing in the town um, made you feel that you were the best fit candidate to run uh, for leadership? Well, I have been working at the Veteran Belize Eco Village and as uh, since I started in 2009 there working and I have been traveling these roads and after in 2015 I started deciding myself uh, after what I have been seeing in Benque Viejo the, the problems that Benque Viejo has the abandonment of uh, the, the town so I said to myself one of these days I will turn into be the mayor of Benque I, and we were just talking and talking with my wife about these things and uh, so I decided that the, 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 the um, opportunity came. Uh, they released some um, applications for mayor. And then I, I went and I said, I will get one paper and see what happens. Yeah, were you surprised well, after you submitted your application and you heard back? Well, I never expected to be here sitting, talking to you. Well. This is a big opportunity that I have right now, and uh, I am willing and to, to work for Benque Viejo at the hardest I can, and I will make the difference in Benque here, with, together with my, um, uh, my, my colleagues, this, uh, the councillors. I will try to do my best for Benque. Yeah. And you talk about making a difference. What is the sort of change that you want to see happen in Benque Viejo? Well, mostly what we have seen here in Benke is the the roads, the drainages, and the garbage that is a, a lot here in Benke. We are trying to see if we focus on that, but at the same time, we want to to um, see if we could um, make some um, uh, to make this happen. We need uh, to to generate to create work to. Uh, initiate um, jobs to people. Uh, I would say um, trying to make um, micro enterprises. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now the 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 Benque Viejo town um, is a border community, and that always brings with it its own challenges. People can very easily go across the border, uh, access things that are off the, that are offered in in Guatemala. Um, and uh, that also makes it very difficult for businesses to survive in border municipalities. Tell me about what your plans are to be able to enhance uh, just the business community there. 
Well, first of, first of all, um, the the closing of the borders here in Benke has shown that Benke could survive without uh, without Guatemala. We really don't need at the moment. I might be saying something, but people might say something else. Uh, I don't see the need of having the borders open at the moment, and because we are surviving without Guatemala. Uh, the imports and exportations of the of the cargos is good, but we don't need uh, the borders to be open. And at the same time, uh, the differences be between Melchor de Mencos and Benqueviejo, Benqueviejo being a border um, a border town to Guatemala, we have seen that uh, there's a big difference from Melchor to Benque, and we should know that Benque is very abandoned for the past. 21 years, and at the same time, um, we think that we have been left behind. Mm -hmm. Is that what you have been hearing on the campaign trail from the uh, persons that you've been speaking to? Yes, they. Uh, a lot of people are are concerned that uh, we really don't need, uh, we don't depend on Guatemala, and we are seeing that we could survive without. Uh, the business of Guatemala. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing I see is that if we open the borders, the dollar in Benke will decrease again. You know, it's, it, can I just say, Benke is so absolutely beautiful and it's unfortunate that it's not well known for uh, being one of the common tourist locations, tourism locations. Uh, very often people travel uh, through Central America and they will pass through Benke. Are you also going to be looking at things like building tourism within the town? What, that, that's one of my plans of doing the micro enterprises because we want to clean uh, the flora and fauna of, of the river. We want to do a complete cleanup uh, and try to implement uh, like uh, mini parks, uh, uh, try to do uh, fishing areas, uh, try to uh, put uh, uh, seedlings of, of fishes, uh, tilapia, and try to do some barriers like for tourism to come along. We need to um, uh, in, do like a Riverside Street, uh, George Street, and Churchill Street. Try to uh, uh, convince people to do like uh, Airbnbs, uh, uh, small business businesses, restaurants. We need to push the restaurants to to do a better a better job to do uh, more nicer uh, roads, uh, restaurants. We want to make it nicer for uh, for the tourism, the local tourism, at the most right now, and the international. If this pandemic goes away, and hopefully it, it will. And um, can you also talk about a little bit of? what you've been hearing, what are the main concerns of the residents of Benke that you've been hearing um, on the campaign trail? Uh, mostly people are complaining non-employment. We want to create em employment to people. We won't be able to do as much for people with employment, but we, are, we want to try to fit as much as we can doing rotational uh, employment to people. Uh, the way I have seen the municipality working right now, they have established people working there for years and years and they don't give jobs to other people. So what I want to do is change that, uh, uh, that uh, plan that they have. And I would like to see if we could rotate people around for work to give a chance to everybody. And um, how is it that you've been campaigning mainly? Um, what are the strategies that you and your team have been using to reach um, peop as many people in Benke as you can? Well, I have been thinking that the best campaign that we need to do is a work campaign because that shows people that we are willing to work for the people. And it doesn't matter how hard it is. But we really need to do. If we have the will, we will gain something. We will put something there that people should know that we are willing to work 
with the people, but the people need to work with us too. Yeah. And looking, I mean, let's let's look at the history of Benke. It has been a predominantly uh, UDP managed um, town for I think you said twenty one years. Yes, twenty one, twenty two years almost. Okay. Now, when you look at that type of history, it seems that people have been very loyal to uh, one particular party. What makes you think, Jorge, that you can go in and, and change that? Well, the people here in Benke, uh, the jobs around Belize and around San Ignacio have been um, very low. And and to be um, saying that uh, the people have been loyal to the UDP is a uh, people have been living of monies of, of, of the UDP. And we want to try, try to change that from, uh, instead of giving more to people, we want to give the two hooks and a line to go fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the campaign so far, do you feel optimistic that people are willing to make a change and put their trust in you? I would say that people are looking at the change. And yes, they are believing in what I have in plan. And I think we will be uh, successful on the POP party. Okay. So uh, talk a little bit about uh, the rest of the slate and your team uh, that you hope uh, to put forward and eventually uh, be victorious. Well, uh, we have Ms. Abelin Barriet. Uh, who is a social worker and an international development um, cooperation. She contributes to the social, she wants to contribute to the um, social um, development of, of people here in Benke and try to uplift uh, the, the, the woman. Then we have uh, Teresita Guarado, who is a single mother, and she wants to uh, do um, some businesses with, um, with uh, the woman too and try to uplift plans to do work too with them. And then we have Vania Melissa Garcia, who is a, a, a retired teacher for 14 years. She has been teaching around, and she has been working with the NGOs, uh, and the Red Cross, and the UNHCR. So she has been a very, uh, a, I would say, working person. Mm -hmm. And I think she's a good person, too. Uh, uh, like Avelyn Martinez, the same thing, and, and, and Terry Alvarado. And then we have Mr. Edgar Cocom, Eggy, better known as Eggy. He's a self-employed self um, person. He has been in the politics for the past, past five years with the PUP. He's a good person too, and he wants to contribute in the micro enterprises and trying to promote the commerce for, for people. And then we have Mr. Carlos Ramon Iglesias, his profession is a driver for the past 15 years. So he wants, and he has been involved with the youth in sports. So he wants to be on that range there, working with the, with, with the um, trying to support the, the, the youth. Okay. And then we have Mr. Oscar Gongura, who is a retired um, auditor and an accountant at the, at, I, I would say at the Belize Bank. Okay. And so you, with the team that you have put together, I'm sure you have a, a platform campaign that you're putting forward to voters. What is this team going out and committing to the residents of Benque Viejo? The platform. Can you repeat the question, please? I was saying, what are you committing to the people of Benque when you go out on your campaign? What are you telling them that your team can deliver if they vote you in? Change I am committing myself. We are trying to, um, we want to commit the progress of, and the change of the, of the town mm -hmm. by working together with the people and a, uh, trying to do employments for people 
yeah. and to support the people. But at the same time, we want the people to support us. Yeah. How do and you... give us the opportunity to yeah. and to give us the opportunity to, to, to win this election. Yeah. How do you plan to, to earn the money to be able to, cont to roll out some of the work that you want to do? Uh, I have a plan uh, for to do this work. Uh, it would be uh, we want to see if we could be self-sufficient, and at the same time we want to do some uh, animal husbandry. We want to start something as animal husbandry. You know that Benke has been abandoned, and we need to see how we make this money. So the way we could do this money is trying to implement. Uh, uh, chicken coops uh, for the broiler, the glare, uh, uh, pork, and tilapia. We want to raise this, these um, animals, and we want to see if we could um, le um, try to raise, harvest, and try to imp uh, implement these uh, meats to, um, to, the, to the shops here in, in Benke. And if not, we will try to open up a shop a meat shop and trying to keep the this uh, harvesting that we do yeah. of the animals and try to sell it here in Benga to try to to do a circle or, or try to promote uh, the animal meats and um, let's say let's put it like this uh -huh. we want to do this to create work for people yeah. and at the same time try to put it there and try to keep the dollar in banking yeah. because the dollar in banking is very low yeah. so let me let me let me before we, we we start to wrap up this conversation what's what's the biggest difference you would want to make in the lives of people who live in Benke? what do you want to be different if you are elected as mayor Well, I want people to see that we uh, need to work very hard in Benke and try to change the look of Benke. We need to change the face of Benke because it's a shame that the next side of the bridge or Melchor de Mencos, when you go there, you see a big difference. There is a lot of differences from Melchor to Benke. Being a border, we need to value ourselves as Benkenians that we are mm -hmm. and give that, uh, we need to give that incentive to people that we need to um, raise ourselves and try to be more than we are. Okay. All right. Well, Jorge, we are in the last few minutes of this segment and this is the time that we give our uh, candidates the opportunity to speak directly to the viewers and if there's something you'd like to say to them about uh, why you feel you are the best candidate for them come March 3rd. And of course, feel free to speak in Spanish if that's what you prefer. Eh, querido pueblo de Benqueviego, queremos que nos dé la oportunidad a los siete eh, candidatos de Benqueviego para que nos, que nos den la oportunidad a hacer un cambio en el pueblo para crear empleos, cambiar lo que está abandonado. Tenemos que cambiar este abandono que tenemos en el Benque, porque la verdad estamos bien decaídos, queremos tener el dólar en, en pie, tenemos que darle valor al pueblo, darle valor a su persona, darle valor a su casa. Tenemos que cambiar esto, tenemos que hacer algo por Benque Viejo. Por favor, denos la oportunidad a los siete candidatos del pueblo para que hagamos la diferencia. Right. Gracias. Well, gracias to you too. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jorge, for uh, joining us this morning and letting us know uh, about your campaign there in uh, Benke. And of course, please stay safe on the campaign trail. And I le doy las gracias por la oportunidad que nos dio uh, a este programa y quisiera que todos nos apoyen en este 3 de marzo a las elecciones, vote PUP7. Gracias. All right, thank you.
There you have it. That was the PUP mayoral candidate uh, for Benke Viejo Town. We're going to continue or meet the mayoral candidate uh, in just a few. So please stay tuned as we take a quick break.